All right, good people. Today, your workout. You guys have one minute stations that you guys are gonna be going through and you have three rounds, so you're gonna go through that list three times, all right? You guys have 10 uh, calorie rows if you're a lady or 15 calorie rows if you're a gent. Whatever time is left in that minute is yours to rest, so get it done as quickly as you guys can. Next bell goes off. You're going straight into your single leg straight leg deadlifts with your dumbbell, you got 12 reps. All right, after that, you move on to your atomic push-ups, your caustic squats, your plate wipers, and your dumbbell curl to press. Once you guys have completed the entire list, you're gonna take one minute of rest, and then you're gonna go through that bad boy two more times, all right? And then afterwards, we're gonna head out back. We have a 400 meter sprints, two of them specifically, and uh, you're gonna make sure that you take plenty of rest in between, all right? First, we're gonna start off with our calorie rows. Calorie rows is about strength, not speed. So you guys are gonna grab onto the handle, drive with the legs, and then you're gonna pull as hard as you can with your arms, all right? Just make sure you use your legs first, and then pull. Think about picking up the heaviest barbell you possibly can off the ground, all right? Remember, 10 calories for a lady, 15 for the gents. Next, you guys have your single leg straight leg deadlifts that you guys are gonna knock out with your dumbbell. I want you guys to hold the top of your dumbbell. You guys are gonna isolate one leg. You're gonna keep it straight. You're gonna hinge forward. That other leg is gonna rise behind you. You're gonna tap the ground, and then you're gonna go ahead and stand it on up with ease. If you're unable to tap the ground, that is fine. Just get as far as you possibly can comfortably. Make sure that you don't round out your back or bend that leg, all right? 12 of those. Uh, do six on one side, six on the other. Next, you guys have your atomic push-ups, all right? So for your atomic push-ups, there are going to be some straps on the rigs. You guys are going to go ahead and get your shoelaces to rest on those straps. You guys are going to get into a plank position, and all you're going to do here is you're going to drop your chest down to the ground. Once you get back up to the top, you're going to tuck the knees to the chest nice and easy there. Okay, if you guys are unable to do them in the straps or with control, then I want you guys to go ahead and get out of the straps, and you guys are going to do like a little Spider-Man variation. You're going to go ahead and knock out your push-up, and then you're going to tuck one knee up to your elbow, and then you're going to do the opposite thing on the other side, all right? Just make sure that you guys stay nice and flat as you guys tuck those knees in. And then from there, you guys can go through your normal progressions of push-ups if the Spider-Man isn't happening. Rx is down on the toes, and then if you need the negative, it's down on the toes, but up from the knees, or if you need to, you can simply go ahead and just work from the knees. I can use it there a little bit, you see that? <laughs> All right, next we got your caustic squats, all right? Uh, very tough, demands a lot of flexibility uh, and mobility. All you guys are gonna do is you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna get into a nice wide stance, and all you're gonna do here, holding that dumbbell off of your chest, you guys are gonna go ahead and lean over to one side, driving your hips on down, and make sure you keep your chest up nice and tall. As you guys notice, his heel stays down, but his toes come up, and he's just keeping his chest tall the entire time. If the weight is too much, go ahead and take it out of the equation, and then all you guys are gonna do is just do your caustic squats without any weight, but again, make sure you keep your chest tall, and you're driving over to that side of, and keeping that other leg straight, all right? After that, you guys have your plate wipers, right? A lot of core here. You guys are gonna go ahead, get that plate extended over your chest, feet are gonna stay, or legs are gonna stay straight, feet are gonna stay off the ground the entire time. You're gonna bring them up to one side and bring it down to the center, and then you're gonna bring it up to the other side, creating the shape of a V. Remember, it's a V, so up to the left, down to the center, up to the right. Keep those legs straight the entire time, right? Each side counts. After that, you guys have your dumbbell curl to press, okay? So a little bit of a bro pump with this one. You guys are gonna go ahead and hold the dumbbell off to your side. You're simply gonna curl it up to your shoulders nice and slow, and then you're gonna press it up locking out overhead. It is meant to be strict, so don't bounce, don't use your body for momentum. Just curl with that arm, and then press it up and lock it out overhead. Do half on one side, and then do half on the other arm, all right? And then after that, after you guys rest a couple minutes, you guys are gonna head outside. We're gonna do some 400 meter sprints. We'll explain how that's gonna work when we see you outside. Have a good one.